A sand-laden truck fell into Irang River as Irang Bridge at Taubong village of Tamilong district along Imphalzeribam Road or National Highway 37 collapsed, killing two persons this morning. The bridge was collapsed as the truck was trying to cross it. Reportedly, the truck driver along with two occupants were traveling in the vehicle when it plunged into the river. Manipur Works Minister Thongam Biswajit has assured to upgrade Ideal Girls College at Akampat in Imphal East with latest infrastructure. Biswajit, along with the Commissioner of Higher Education M. Hari Krishna, was inspecting the college campus today. Ipudhau Marjing Kubam Kanbalup has expressed strong displeasure over the social media post stating that Chief Minister N. Birin has banned devotees from entering the Ipudhau Marjing Shrine. The loop appealed to all to refrain from such unfounded allegations. In the past 24 hours, Manipur registered 217 COVID-19 infections, pushing the state's total tally to 18,502. In the past 24 hours, four patients died of the virus and took the death toll to 168 in the state. The active cases stand at 3,472 and the recoveries at 14,862. The COVID-19 Common Control Rune informed that Manipur's coronavirus recovery rate has improved improved to 80.32%. Worldwide coronavirus cases has now touched 45.24 million and the death toll is at 11.83 lakh. Infections have been reported in more than 210 countries and territories since the first cases were identified in China in December 2019. India reported a daily jump of 48,268 coronavirus infections in the past 24 hours, taking its tally past the 81 lakh mark the health ministry data this morning showed. The media report said the number of cases in the country now stands at 81 lakhs 37,119. In the 24-hour period, India, which is the second worst-hit country, reported 551 deaths linked to the virus, taking the total number of fatalities to 1,21,641. The national recovery rate crossed 91%. The fatality rate remains at 1.49%. A week-long COVID-19 awareness campaign organized by Thongju Kendra Tengbang Loop kick-started in Thongju constituency today. Chief patron of Thongju Kendra Tengbang Loop, Seram Nikin, said that the awareness campaign will be carried out in seven panchayat areas of Thongju. At least 14 shops were gutted in a major fire erupted at Pandu Market under Jalukbari Police Station in Guwahati on the intervening night of October 31st and November 1st. While goods worth rupees several crore were destroyed, no casualty was reported. Assam police has busted an illegal narcotics racket at Naharkatia in Dibrugarh district. Police said acting on a tip-off, a joint team of Dibrugarh and Naharkatia police launched a search operation at Assam's Naharkatia yesterday. The report said that during the search operation, the police team seized an LPG cylinder truck and recovered heroin worth more than rupees 5 lakh. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vardhan in a tweet yesterday said that India has seen significant success in the collective fight against coronavirus and that the country's case fatality rate is below 1.5% with over 23 states and union territories CFR being even below this national average. Ahead of Phase 2 polling of the ongoing Bihar Assembly elections, Prime Minister Narendra Modi visited the state today to address four back-to-back -back rallies to garner support for the NDA candidates in the poll-bound state. Modi began his election tour with a rally in Chapra, the political bastion of RJD chief Lalu Prasad, and addressed the public over the achievements of the NDA in the state. The All India Institute of Medical Sciences Ames in Delhi is likely to submit a proposal to its ethics committee to start the final stage trials of Bharat Biotech ICMR's COVID-19 vaccine candidate, Covaxin. 
Meanwhile, American pharmaceutical company Novavax Incorporation has laid out specific diversity targets for its large-scale COVID-19 vaccine study, which is expected to begin in the U.S. and Mexico next month.